What's on my YouTube family? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, my reaction channel. Today, I've come across a new channel named WatchMojo. And I'm going to be reacting to it. Um, it says 10 top 10 creepiest things caught on trail cameras. Okay. Um, I'm not feeling too well today. I'm not doing too, I'm not doing my best. I'm not my best today. Um, but I still try my best to, you know, bring out content because it's getting late in the, in the week and I haven't posted anything as yet. So I decide, uh, to heck with it. Let me just do it. All right. So. If you haven't already, hit a like, subscribe, turn your notifications on, hit the bell for every time I drop new content. And guys, I w I'm trying to drop content two by two, but again, I'm not feeling all the best. So you may just see one at a time. I will try to do another video after this. All depends on how I feel. All right. So without further ado, let's get into this video. If you want to go over to watchmojo.com. Um... That's the name of it. Uh, go over to their channel, check their stuff out. This is the first time I'm checking their stuff out. So I'm going to be checking it out with you and reacting to what we find. Alright, so now it's not slap ham today, but I am going to, I'm probably going to put a slap ham right after this. Because you know I like me some slap ham. And you know Callum always, Callum always have the best. Callum, I'm so sorry if I pronounced your name um, around a couple times before. Um... Yeah, it's sometimes some people's, um, anyways, it's just, I'm, I'm just sorry if I pronounce your videos wrong sometimes. Alright, let's get into it because I've already reached the two minute mark, uh, with my introduction, so I've gone past a little bit, so let's do this. You know, when I first saw it, my heart skipped a beat because I thought, is that a really good photo of a young Squatch? Welcome to Watch Mojo. Isn't that Today we're counting elephant? Down our picks for the top ten creepiest things caught on trail cameras. It uh, frightens. Wait, let's go back. Cause it, Is that I gotta... a really good photo of a young squatch? Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the okay, top so 10 it's narrated things by caught Peter. on trail cameras. It uh, frightens people, especially children. Uh, let's out. Are you planning to kiss face this Halloween in Prince George's County? Bad idea. For this list, we'll be looking at spooky, unusual, and just plain bizarre footage caught on trail cameras. What's the strangest thing you've ever seen caught on camera? Share with us in the comments. Number Myself 10, in the mirror. Deer chasing demon. While it's widely known that deer spook easily, we really... Okay, so he asked, what's the scariest thing you caught on camera? Myself. I know it's dumb. <laughs> but they don't call me goofball and cheesy for no reason. <laughs> okay. So yeah. The creepiest thing I've caught. <laughs> I'll cameras myself. They can't blame this one for running for its life. This trail camera still image captures the moment an unexplained creature is giving this poor deer the chase of its life. While most who see this image believe it's a hoax or a really strange angle of a natural predator such as a cougar, others believe this could be proof of the elusive yet infamous Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil, or the Leeds Devil as it is sometimes called, is a, is a cryptid animal. It's mostly described as a, as a flying... We did cryptid already, guys. Do you want to go back no and look, what it is, look over my eye? We are my, uh, on the same page as this deer. We do not want to run into this creature in the middle of the night. Number nine. What am I looking at? Because it looks like a deer. It doesn't matter what Blue Oyster Cult said. We are still going to fear this one. While the Grim Reaper is usually seen as a bad omen, maybe this particular one was just trying to help a forest creature pass over to the other side. Considering the date stamp, it is possible that. Okay, so I'm just gonna say this. Um, ugh. I think I think my the wind in my background is creating a lot of static. Anyways, now a lot of people say the Grim Re Reaper is a sign of bad omen, but there's nothing bad about death. 
yes, there's a lot of uh, emotions that come with death. There's also the fear of how you will die. But let's just put this out there. Don't fear death. Death is nothing to fear. Okay? Death, I've, I've, I'm pretty sure I said this in one of my videos already. I have um, almost died five times. Five times. I've almost died. And on those five, five occasions that I almost died, I have seen uh, the death angel. It's nothing to be afraid of. Um, it's not like what people think um, thing with a sickle. Um, no, it's that's that's not how it is. And there's two different types of death. So, and again, I'm I'm telling you this because of experience, and because it's something that I have went through in life. And you know, I always give you a story time and a testimony about myself when I do these uh, videos. So, yeah, the death angel is not nothing. Is it's not anything to fear it's not yes it's very intimidating and um but it's not it's not a terrifying creature like what some people make it out to be with a sickle and all that but they are two two different types of death angels there's the dark one and then there's the one of light and um i guess depending on how you live your life um one or the other comes and i've seen both of them each time i've seen both of them they are all both of them are always present um they're always present together they're not they're not separate they're always together because um it's, it's death so it's either um it's either the angel in the dark cloak or is the angel in the white cloak but they do not have sickles okay so that's just a piece of information that I just think that everybody should you know know and I'm again I'm speaking from experience because these are things that I have been through in my past um, not my past life no in my past years okay let's yeah okay there's a lot of things that I went through in life that has brought me to where I am today um, which is seeking God um, with the amount of stuff that I've seen in my past and it's an escaped from it's only by the grace of God that I'm still alive and that is an um, not that that's one of the reasons why I give my life over to God, but, um, sorry, that not that that's one of the main reasons I give myself over to God, but it is a reason why I give myself over to God as well. And I was not like, I was confused and conflicted in how I was living my life. And, you know, God spoke to me. He directed me to his son, which I openly admit he's the lord and savior he is the son of god he has died on the cross for all of us for to, up to today for us to be saved because he doesn't want any of any of his children not one of us to be lost um with that said yeah let's get back into the video that's my story time with you guys it's my testimony yeah let's continue Freezing temperatures. Whatever the case, seeing this on your trail camera is pretty terrifying no matter the time of year. I'm pretty Number sure eight, this is just ghostly a... Ghostly hunter. Sure, venison Yo. is delicious, but can ghosts I'm pretty sure it's just it? a person Maybe this particular playing a prank on a camera. Hunter is trying what to is find that? Out. There are two creepy aspects of this photo. Of course, the ghostly hunter is spooky. But this could simply be a case of the camera distorting either a human subject or a water reflection. After all, trail cameras aren't exactly the best quality, <laughs> and this photo reflection. was taken at night. The truly creepy and worrisome part of this picture is how the buck staring into the camera 
doesn't even seem to know it might be being watched from behind. The most likely explanation to this mysterious visitor is, of course, that it's a hoax. So maybe the deer is a is real. isn't so bad. Number seven, Nightgown <laughs> Wanderer. Even the frights are bigger in Texas. This grainy image appears to capture a nighttime wanderer on the trail. A similar but clearer image that might show the same figure was posted on a hunting forum in 2015. Taken near a cemetery in Liberty, Texas. <laughs> now it could simply be a person out and about for a stroll in their nightgown. I think or that's someone just, chasing after their dog. I think it's However, just that. the proximity to a graveyard and the fact that it was two miles from any houses is a bit spooky. As is the fact that bare footprints were allegedly found in the spot. Okay, so it's not uncommon for elderly people to stray away from home. And in this video, it looks like an elderly person strayed away from home. Um, and when they stray away from home, they go pretty far. Pretty, pretty far. That on some occasions, their family members have to send out um, missing, missing, um, missing person reports and stuff. And by the next day, they're found. Or a few hours later, they're found. And they're miles away from their actual home because they wander away. So this might just be that. that It might just be um, an elderly wandering away from home. Number six, daytime Sasquatch. Maybe you've heard that Virginia is for lovers. It looks like Virginia an elephant. for baby Bigfoot, too. When outdoorsman Roger Williams captured this photo in 2013 in the mountains of southwest Virginia, he submitted the strange image to a local newspaper. Okay. In no time, the picture circulated it's, it's, around okay, cryptozoologists it's, it's, it's not and according to the famous Jacobs photo taken in 2007 oh, just in a monkey. Pennsylvania. Baboon, gorilla, young gorilla. Team that one of his neighbors heard strange sounds a few miles from where the photo was taken. At about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm not saying that Bigfoot is not real. Because it, it, it probably is. But the images that you guys show and say Bigfoot... It looks like normal apes, gorillas, monkeys, you name it, from the ape family. It it just looks like that. So I I have seen on Slap Ham something that actually really did represent Bigfoot. And it's nothing like this. This is this is just this is just a Oh my gosh. I heard a yell. Okay. Uh -huh. a raspy, throaty growl sound from the upper part of the lake. And said he wouldn't have thought much about it except it was repeated. As Williams himself it's said, an when he first published the photo, oh my quote, God. mystery remains. <laughs> Number five, it's not a mystery. zombies. Virginia seems to be a hot spot for bizarre trail camera photos. <laughs> this God. image first started circulating around October 2012. And it just gets creepier the longer you look at it. Wow. At first, it looks like two out-of-sorts figures wandering the woods yeah, late at night. However, a closer look reveals that the figure in the front is missing some flesh, exposing its rib cage. Yeah. While it could be an indication that the dead roam Virginia, it's more likely to be a hoax or another case of October-long Halloween enthusiasts. No matter the case, the image is unsettling. Number four, living deliciously. This creepy creature Living took being the goat too seriously. In the Living small town of Bowie, Maryland, legends and rumors about the mysterious goat man have circulated for... Okay, I don't know where this place is. Um, Gooley, Maryland? Is that what it says? Gooley, Maryland? Interesting. Never heard of Gooley... I've heard of Maryland before, but... But then again, have I? Anyways, let's continue. Decades. According to the stories, a scientist at Beltsville Research Agricultural Center conducted experiments combining goat DNA and human DNA. Of course, something went horribly wrong, resulting in the creation of the goat man. Soon this creature was seen attacking cars with an axe along the Fletcher Town Road in Bowie. It's said to be six feet tall, hairy, and walking upright on its hind leg. This particular image has been tied to the legend, but it should actually be tied to a Photoshop contest. An artist who goes by <laughs> Lou, a.k.a. Fearhacht, submitted the photo Agreed. as part of a contest in 2011. Agreed. While they did not win the contest, their art has lived on in countless Proof of Cryptids Exist <laughs> compilations. In fact, Fearhacht has called it 
their most stolen image. Their Number three, image. run away. These deer seem to be more freaked out by the camera than by the little girl who is right next to them. You're Could this child be part of their herd or a Disney princess in the making? She is a princess! <laughs> As it turns out, there's much more to this photo than meets the eye. For starters, there are actually several more pictures of this magical girl and her deer friends. That's because this image is part of a series called Following the Deer by Illinois artist oh, William Harper. Okay. The image was taken out of context and widely circulated around the internet, leading several concerned citizens to wonder why this little girl was wandering in the woods. Thankfully, so the girl was night. never really lost, but this picture is still very spooky. Number two, the rake. Accounts of an American cryptid known as the rake date back to the 1600s, when a mariner apparently fled back across the ocean to escape the creature. Well, if this photo is anything like what he saw, we can't blame him. This particular image was allegedly recovered from a trail camera in a destroyed hunting camp. While this could be true and the creature could be responsible for the destruction, the picture's murky origins leave room for doubt. Is this the rake of lore, or is it simply a spooky edit? No matter the case, this image is probably the most relatable one on this list. After all, who wants their picture taken unexpectedly at 1.44 a.m.? True. Why did you do that? Why would you do that to me when you know how I feel about that? Why? We empathize with your frustration, mysterious creature. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe Number to our one. channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number for one, those of you who don't know how clown. to do it. Back in 2016, there was a massive wave of creepy clown sightings that spooked people in several cities. Online, there are lots of posts about the pranks. <laughs> However, it looks like someone was about seven years early to the circus-themed party. These images were captured on a trail camera in the middle of the woods. While this matches the latter clown's M.O., this particular sighting occurred several miles from the nearest town. This could simply be a case of someone wanting to mess with the person who put out this camera. Probably. It is extremely <laughs> creepy, no matter the motive. A bizarre eye contact definitely doesn't help either. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo. Alright guys, so that's the end of the Mojo video reaction. Um, as I said before, this is the first time of me checking their stuff out. Um, I will subscribe to them because they seem to have good content. <laughs> Funny content, actually. Um, so yeah, if you want to go over to Watch Mojo and see what you can see there. And don't forget to subscribe to their channel as well. If you've reached to this point of this video with me, thank you so much for sticking with me right out to the end. It means a lot. Um, as I told a friend, I told somebody, I always know when people watch or don't watch my videos, but it's fine. It's, it's cool. Um, however, I'm still asking you guys to share these videos with uh, your friends, your family, your grandmother, your grandfather, whoever watches YouTube in your household or in your friendship, in your inner circle, uh, just share my video with your friends so that I can get some some more subscribers, some some, some more viewers. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Also, disclaimer: this is not my video. I'm just reacting to it so you guys can see some of the stuff that happens around the world if you are not in a position to know what's going on. Alright, so thank you so much guys. Again, I'm not feeling all the well, so I'm not going to be as, as enthusiastic as I normally am or funny or, you know, but I'm still going to try. And I am going to drop another video prior to this one, probably a little later when I feel a little better, if I feel a little better, I will drop another one. If you don't see me drop another one, it means I have I'm, I still haven't I am still not feeling as good as I thought I would be to do it. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. I'm Shay, and you know I love you guys, and I'm out.